To be an engineer is to be a professional problem solver. And when we solve problems, technical problems, mathematical computer problems, the way we do it is that we always look for similar solutions that we have seen in the past. Because every time that you find a new problem, you can be quite sure that if you know the area, the solution to that problem will probably be just a variation of something you have seen before. So skilled problem solvers always have a huge memory bank, a mental library of typical problems, typical solutions, typical programs, and so on, that they can use and reuse in different combinations. This means that when you, as an engineering student, when you want to learn how to solve math problems or learn how to program, you need to acquire this memory bank of typical problems and typical solutions so that you can reuse them in a readily way. So, in practice, when you want to learn how to solve a problem, there are two things you should do. First, recreate the solutions that your teachers will show you in class, at lectures, or in the course books that you have. Recreate them using a pen and paper or for that, for that matter, a computer, if you're learning programming. Recreate the solutions while they are fresh in your memory. Recreate them the same day that you are being shown the solution. Only then will you know for sure if you really understand it. Don't confuse passive understanding. That is, you feel that you understand because somebody is explaining it to you. Don't confuse that with active understanding, which is when you can solve the problem yourself. Recreate it the very same day. Do that with all the problems that they are giving you. The ones that you find in the books or in old exams. But then, once you know how to solve the typical problems that are given to you for free, then you need to move on and solve more difficult problems. You need to practice this muscle, the problem-solving muscle. Problems where you don't immediately see the solution, or you can't match the problem to something you have in your memory immediately. This is when deeper understanding is born, when you learn to realize how more advanced problems are just variations or combinations of the typical ones. Don't go straight for the most difficult problems. Start with the simple ones, recreate their solutions, then move on to the more difficult ones where you need to think and ponder a little. That way you will quickly learn how to solve pretty much any kind of technical or mathematical problem. And that's the way to do it.